everybody to stand, please. Let us remember that we are the most holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, we offer this gathering to you and ask you to bless it with your wisdom and grace. We thank you for this opportunity to be together to grow in our love and service for you and for each other. We ask you to enlighten our minds, to know what is true and just, and strengthen our wills to carry out faithfully what we come to see as our duty. May all our thoughts, words, and actions be directed to making your name and your love better known among men for their satisfaction and their happiness here and in eternity. Amen. St. John Baptist de La Salle. Pray for us. Let Jesus in our hearts. For In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Josh. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Miss Grace. You may take your seats. Thank you, Miss Grace. At this point, allow me to introduce the chair of the INSPA Parenting Committee, she is the head organizer of this activity. Please give a round of applause to Mrs. Christina Moratti. Good afternoon, grade six uh, teachers and fellow parents. Our talk for today entitled Preparing for Adolescent uh, Preparing for Adolescents is a project of INSPAS Parenting Enrichment Program Committee in collaboration with the Guidance Services Center headed by Ms. Silva Ralios, Vice Principal's Office, Ms. Carmen Bernardo, the Motor Productions headed by Sir Arnel Paipong, and most especially to the Student Affairs Council, Council headed by Ms. Grace Season. Our speaker for today is a psychologist by profession. She has worked as the guidance counselor of the University of San Carlos, Cebu, and presently connected with St. Vincent Ferrer Seminary in Haro, Iloilo City. She graduated from her, from, from her batch as, as a cum laude. She is also a human resource consultant and of several companies like Sarabia Manor Hotel, Tai Tai Sakauswagan, Assumption Social Educational Center. She also has four children, two boys and two girls. So let us please welcome Mrs. Maidin Gorecho. Hello world. Hello. Hello beautiful people of the University of St. Natal Apollon. How are you today? Five okay, so I am here this morning, this afternoon, to share to you uh, how to prepare for adolescence. How many of you here are 10 years old? 11 years old? 11? 12 years old? Oh, most of you are 12. 13? 14? 15? I have also four children. My eldest is 20 years old. But I have two boys, 14 years old, who's an emo, who likes to be an emo, and likes computer games and basketball. And I also have a 12-year-old, also in grade 6, like you. So it's like I'm talking to my own children. My youngest, by the way, is 8 years old. She's uh, in grade 3. So, before I begin, I'd like you to share a video clip made, made by my son, okay? He is 12, also like you, and he made this project for career development in, in, in his school also. He studies at uh, Colegio de San Jose in Filipino. So he made this video clip, and I'd like to share this to you, okay? Are you ready? Yes. I'm a 
when he was asked, uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? And he said, I want to be a hero. I want to change the world. Do you want to be a hero? Did you learn anything from the video clip? Yes. What did you learn? Um, what, what message did it bring to you to get that? So, what's the message? Although we shine, I have brought some prizes here. Okay, what did you learn from the video? What does it take to be a hero? What does it take to be a hero? Anybody?
adventurous time travelers, you are the kind of person who is always curious and adventurous. You get restless if you stay in one thing. You can be a scientist, a historian, a salesman, or a diplomat. So many shayang of classing at all. I think I'm going to go no. I'm going to go one. Number one is your identity. Number two, your sexuality. And number 
body. So, these girls between 10 to 14 years old develop sex hormones called estrogen and progesterone that causes the breast to develop, the hips and thighs widen, pubic and underarm hair, the ovaries start to produce eggs, and menstruation starts. So my menstruation, na, sada po, ay mga breast. Kaya may, may kwan ka na, may bumo ka na. Excuse me. So anong cause nila? Anong cause? Estrogen. May hormones na kamudra sa body nyo na nag-produce some sex hormones na nag-develop from breast, kakit, kakit, hair, kakmenstration. Yes, you girls? Wala? What do you mean? Ha? So, siguro some of you have menstruation already. Some may not have menstruation already. Okay lang na, that's normal. Sa boys naman, boys between 12 to 15 years old. Develop sex hormones called testosterone, which causes the boys to break hair in face and body muscles, genitals develop and sperms are produced. May nagka-develop sa inyo ang body sa buong na cold and testosterone sa boys and progen sa girls. Sino na din ang boys na nag-change na? Nag-change sa inyo, boys? Tungod na sa... Tungod sa... Kaya nag-change ang boys mo?
Kita mo kasi may mga uh, aspek yan po, mga plastic aspek ka pa. So, ilong-ilong ka kung anong, anong hit, anong pull, no? Para you want to be accepted. So, a psychological change that occur when you're an adolescent involves identity confusion. Who am I? Do I follow or imitate others? Or do I use my own gifts and talents? with my dreams and ambitions. So, they must lie imitating others or following your own talent. Following your own talent. Hindi kita mag ilog sa ibang. Okay? Kaya lain sila yan, lain man kita. We are different people. We are unique individuals. So, di ba sa video clip katina, the first thing that you do is to develop your heroic abilities, meaning you recognize your talents, your uh, your capacities, your potentials. You develop in a Hindi kita magkinong sa iban. Just because they are good, just because nagkwa ko sila sa salon, ilo ilo ko sa sila. No, you follow your own uh, dreams and goals. Okay? Do you follow me? Yes. Hindi ano ba? Yes. Okay, good. So, what happens if you do not understand what is happening to you? What happens? No, there are. As I said, there are two changes that occur in you. Ano ba nito? Physical and psychological. Kung hindi ka kahinti. You will result into behavioral problems. Like, example, fighting or bullying. Yes. Next, teenage pregnancy. Hindi huh? bata ka pag hindi may bata ka na yan. Kung hindi na yan normal, eh ba na? This. Next, rebelliousness. And then you get disconnected. You don't like anymore to to go out. Gusto mo mas pila ka sa room mo all day. You get disconnected with the world around you. And then last, kita lang yun eh. Well, 
Number two, learn from your mistakes and failures. Amo na ikon kis ama na nahadlok ta mga kutok suong ta, nahadlok ta, kaya pinakadlawan. Pinakadlawan. So do not be afraid to make mistakes because you learn from your mistakes. Kung nakigal ka mo ganit sa inyo na teacher, pasalamat ka mo. Pabalo mo ko, may salamat. Yung kayo nakigal mo ko. Okay, because kinakigal mo ko, ma-change ma ko na ako ng behavior. O, di ba? Most teenagers do not like na kinakigal sila. No? Pero, believe that you can learn from your mistake. You learn kung kinakigal ka pa. You believe? Sakto man? Sakto? Sakto man? Yes. 
Um, um, girls also like boxing, only when it's Manny Pacquiao playing, no? But most of the time, boys they love boxing. You like boxing? <laughs> and then, boys express, boys express their masculinity by having big muscles. The more muscles, the more masculine they become. Uh, another example. Paano ang lalaki magtanaw sa niyang fingers? Ha? Okay. Ang babae niya? Babae niya? Ang laki ang mundi magtanaw sa niya ko po. Hindi ba? Ang babae niya? Primary, affective, and genital sexuality. So, actually, sexuality is something that you should take care of because it's a gift from God. Some young people abuse sexuality. Kaya hindi sila kanchindi. Nagapoy na gusto na lang sila sa ila ngayon. No gusto yan, no? Pero, again, you don't want to end up losers, right? So, you take care of your sexuality. Huh? Okay? Now, some young people misinterpret the uh, infatuation with love. Like, wow, I'm in love. I'm in love. So, 
So, I would like to share to you the difference between infatuation and love. Ang infatuation nga na iya, ang unang inasawag lang na puppy love, puppy love, crush, crush, wala. Okay, uh, kung hindi nyo nansindihan, I mean, you in love na kamo. Wow, mommy, in love na po. Nakita ko na ang love of my life. Infatuation din na siya. Because infatuation starts from physical attraction. Kung ano lang nakita mo, nagwapahan ka, nagwapuhan ka, that is physical attraction. Ang love niya, there's an emotional attachment. Whether lawai ka na siya, don't be pukwang siya, or si Belason, na. Wala. Love niya na siya because you don't look at the physical. You don't look at the the good side only, but also the the bad side of the person. Pinabaso mo siya. Right? And then, infatuation develops fast. Dah, siglang. Wow, in love ako. Dah, siglang siya yung kaabot. Ang love naman niya, it takes time. Primero, friends lang ako anay. Friends, merkala-merkada. Group dating. Then, slowly, it develops. No? Okay, iba niyang people, yung itali. In love, kuya mo. Eh, eh, mag-date na sila ya. But you cannot go on dating if you are not ready. And if you do not know the difference between love and infatuation, right? And then, ang infatuation naman niya, ends fast. Meaning, ah, tataan ako siya, pala away. Then ako siya, mangita, na ako sa ipan. Ah, muna siya, infatuation na siya. Ang love niya, wala ka sa tataan, lasting and more enduring. Okay? And, sa infatuation naman niya, you act strange things. Meaning, hindi ka katulog, hindi ka kakaon, hindi ka ka-concentrate, hindi ka nakatuon. No? That is infatuation. But ang love naman niya, it makes you become a better person. Meaning, ka-grow ka sa relationship niyo. Okay? Do you have questions so far? Okay. So, guess nyo na ang difference between infatuation and love? Nansindihan nyo? Okay. So, are you in love? No. Yes. When you feel attracted to somebody like a girl or a boy, that is because of your? Of your? Oh, testosterone? So, sa lalaki, kaya fruit ng sarong sa babae. Okay? Yan yung sex hormone. Okay? Yes, yun? Oo. So, wala ka na yan, love. Subong yan. Kaya hindi ka-explore pala pang sa inyong hormone. Okay? Ah, yes, yes. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Pag pala lang ako nila explain yun, it's not love. It's infatuation. It's your testosterone or your progesterone when you're a girl. It's not love. Yes, mo? Kaya sa isin, ang love niya is developing, it's enduring, it's lasting. No? Love is blind. <laughs> love is blind. Good Puppy love. What you are feeling is puppy love. But not the real love. Okay? Sige, puppy is no bata. Pag nalangin it lang, puppy is a baby. It's the same way puppy love is cooking like baby love. Oh, iba ang kulusin yun.
bad manners to stare at people. No? Yes. Kung ang uniform nyo, isa kasi mana na wala malabhan, 
It means that you are disgusting person. Okay? So always, when you're a teenager, be conscious also of how you look, you smell, and how you dress up. Okay? Okay. Next, effective introductions and greetings. When introducing to superiors, parents, teachers always stand and smile. Say the name of the elder person first. You say, Tita Christine, this is my friend Josh. Josh, this is my Tita. Oh. Always say the name of the elder person first. Or when you introduce your girlfriend or your boyfriend to your teacher, you say, Mom or Mr. Uh, Del Santo, this is my girlfriend, Anna. Anna, this is my teacher, Mr. Del Santo. Get me on? Yes. Okay. And shake hands. Even girls, dapat nag shake hands. Dito po mga yung people do not know how to shake hands anymore. Dapat when somebody is being introduced to you, you should always shake your hand. And say hello and use the name of the person. So when you are introduced to me, for example, no, you shake your hands to me and then you say, Nice meeting you, Miss Maylin. No, nice meeting you, Mom. No, and then there should always be eye contact. Okay? Next, meaningful conversation. Listen. When you listen, you nod your head, you do not yawn, you do not look at your watch, nor play with your hands. No? Avoid bad words. Bad words. Like I, I can observe many young people are very fond of saying bad words. Pipuga or yorks or whatever, those are no those. Okay? Do not also engage in the dirty jokes, gossiping, or uh, it's bad manners also to talk about another person when that other person is not present. Just means it's not good, okay? And uh, disabilities of others. Tanawabla yamata, sampiakan, ang isa sa ko, isa sa may. Tanawabla siya, tumibak siya, no? It's bad manners to talk about other person's disability. Okay? Okay. Next, avoid self-talk. Self Uy, amo niya balay. Tuha ka floors, no? Dapat lapad, may elevator, magkatokan na mga second floor. May swimming pool kami ya. Pero uling, big size ang mga swimming pool sa balay. Uy, tiwi, baba ko ya. Right hand ni Obama. Words, please, thank you, I'm sorry, you're welcome, and excuse me. Never interrupt when somebody is talking except when there's emergency. Respect others, including older brothers and sisters. Ask permission when you borrow something when returned after using. Keep confidentiality when you know secrets of other people, do not broadcast. Keep things in order. Be considerate of others, like the CR, the telephone, the volume of your music, choice of TV, computer games, like for example, uh, my, my son loves to talk on the phone for a long time, for hours, or my other, my other daughter likes to use the CR for one hour, so wala, wala na consideration, yung may ibang pagali mausap. So always be conscious, always be considerate of others. Appreciate or learn to give compliments. Good job, you look handsome today. Ang young people, man, today I notice, they're very fond of 
criticizing others. Inagagalipay nila yung mga hikay ng gatipan. They like to make fun of others. They like to say negative things about others. No? No? Good manners means you appreciate others also. You look at him straight into the eyes and appreciate. Uy! Kagwapa sa buong say mo. Uy! You did a good job! Good job! Good work! Sakto na! Sakto kaya ginimuro? Wala. Next. Observe also bathroom manners. Flash after you. Sorry. Kung trapo kini, kung sa balay may may mabiliin pa galing. Wala ba flash? Kasi hindi ko na. See, no? What's all the CR? May hindi ka ba na mag-flash? No? It's bad manners. Kapin pa mga lalaki, hindi ka ba na mag-flash ang ilang ihi after sila mag-ihi. Okay. Next. Hang your towel for a dirty clothes. Dry floor. Sink after you sink. A woman in love sa saan ko sa mga children. After sila maligo, basta binog ng floor. No? So after using the bathroom, always make sure it's clean and dry. Table manners. Wash hands before meals. Use your utensils quietly. No belching, no elbows, no finger licking. Do not put your feet up. Chew your mouth. Chew with your mouth closed. No noise. Lift foot in your mouth, not lower your head. Amo pag ina-notice ko magkaon lang mga young people. No? Lift your foot. Do not lower your head. Ang pagkaon ng dalon mo, sa baba mo, hindi kayo tamuha mo. Malapuan, malupo, okay? Put your utensils on the side when you're done. When you want to leave the table, say, excuse me. Push the chair under the table when you're done. If you do not like the food, do not complain. Eat what is on the table. Do not be open. Kung sa koy may hindi ka nauyunan ng pagkaon, hindi ka mag-complain. Na, ah, hindi ko niya kalaw. Ay, so sweet, I'm so good. No, you eat what is on the table. And when you don't like, just don't make it too obvious. Okay? Do not get food from another person's plate. Do not cross your hands to reach the other side of the table. Okay, everybody, freeze. Sing. This is not Ten Commandments, huh? This is Teen Commandments. Everybody, freeze.
fail to see that they also have a few issues and fire. They can be surprised, shiny, shiny, shiny. You, 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 you,
your cooperation. And I hope you learned something this afternoon. Did you learn something? Did you learn? Okay. So, huh?
aware little by little of our sexuality. Now I know that our sexuality is not purely sex or sex act, as we know, but it calls for my whole personality, okay? My whole and total development of myself, the way I carry myself, now even the way I deal with my classmates, with my teachers, with my parents, or whoever, is also sexuality, right? So above all, it calls for how we become confident of ourselves. Now that we know that all these changes are normally happening to each one of us. So I will not be ashamed of whatever development or changes I have in my body. So that we have to be more confident because we are growing. We are growing beautifully and we are growing more handsome. Okay? So I hope that this will be, if it is not the first time, all right, but we would still have more talk like this because we want to to supervise and then and then check how well we had learned from this event today. So I hope we will never forget what we shared, what we learned this afternoon. So I just would like to take this opportunity also to thank Mrs. Zorato and Tita Pearl. Your Tita Tina and Tita Pearl always been with us. Can we give also a round of applause to our and of course, uh, in behalf of our guidance uh, office, we have Ms. Lundet. Can we give a round of applause to Ms. Lundet also? And our, our documentation would never be possible, of course, without our Sir Arnell. Please clap our hands, Sir Arnell. And also, the representative of Sir Arnell here, and also the teachers, the grade 6 teachers, and to you students, I hope this is a great opportunity to all of us. So once again, thank you, thank you very much. Excuse me, grade 6. We are supposed to have an evaluation of this talk. However, I've noticed that many of you don't have ball pens. So tomorrow, home period, I'm going to give out the evaluation. So I can retrieve right away. Okay? Right, thank you, Ms. Annette. Can everybody sit tall now in their chair so that we can just sit tall. Sit back and sit tall to prepare for our public Let us remember that we are in the future dependent on Lord our God, you sent Jesus, your Son, with a message of love that gives meaning to our lives. He himself experienced how dark this world is when it does not want to accept your message. Yet he did not allow himself to be overcome by evil. Grant us who believe in him that we may not become satis satisfied with a bit of cheap happiness. Let the Spirit of Jesus move us to say the right words and to... to do the right things to encourage one another on the way to you today and every day and all the circumstances of life in my system baptism of Jesus in our heart. Thank you very much, Lystra. So we would feel when we go out of this Galiaga Theater, we feel that we are the star. We are a unique individual. So go out. Be confident and be a star in yourself. Thank you very much. Okay, can we have the six, six B? Okay, six B can be done. In particular, the topic will be all about preparing for adolescence, okay? So as what I told Sixi Kamina, we have the gold signal of Ms. Carmen, you are excused from, for, uh, from attending your club later on because you will be spending two periods here with our speaker. It's going to be worth your time because this is very, very important, okay? So that we can start, I'd like to ask everybody to sit straight, shall we? Okay, 
Six Lake Fernando. Thank you. Okay, and we will maintain a positive atmosphere all throughout the duration of the program. Okay, so without much, we will start with an opening prayer already, which will be led to us by Simon Sofido. Shall we all request everybody to stand, please? We offer this gathering to you and ask you to bless it in your wisdom and grace. We thank you for this opportunity to be together to grow in our love and service for you and for each other. We ask you to enlighten our minds to know what is true and just and strengthen our will to carry out this important constancy as I do. May all our thoughts, words, and actions be directed to making your name and your love further known among men for your satisfaction and their happiness here in, in eternity. Amen. From John Baptist the Lord, in the name of the Father, Okay, at this point, allow me to welcome, you can now uh, take your seats. Grade 6C and D. Let us give a round of applause to Mrs. Christina Morado, who will give our welcome to Mark and to our speaker as well. Good afternoon, Great Seat. Good afternoon, Mr. Christine Church and fellow parents. The program today is a lecture on preparing for adolescence. This activity is a tandem effort, a collaboration between INSPAC, which is headed by Mr. Joyce of Rebecca as president, yours truly as the Perez Enrichment Program Committee Chairman, and the Guidance Center headed by Mrs. Silva Rallius as Guidance Director. We would also like to acknowledge Hayes' Justic support of the Office of the Level Vice Principal, Mrs. Simon Pinado, respective teachers, the Great School AD Center headed by Mr. Apollo Mori and the Motor Production staff headed by Mr. Arnel Falcon. Special thanks to the Great School Student Affairs Council headed by Ms. Good Season for the assistance provided especially in this program in their program preparation. Our speaker for today is a cum laude graduate in Bachelor of Science in Psychology and Master of Candidate for Industrial Psychology from the University of San Carlos, Cebu City. She has more than 10 years experience in human resource management, training and development, recruitment and placement, wage and salary administration, employee relations, and the five years of experience in human formation of seminarians. A former guidance staff of the University of San Carlos South of the grade school and high school department, wherein she was into counseling. Or she also she conducted homework guidance sessions related to interpersonal programs. At present, she is a consultant of several companies and institutions like Assumption Social Educational Center in Filipino City. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Mike, Mrs. Mike Gorecho. Hello, beautiful people of the University of St. Lazar. How are you today? Thank you. 
after May is all about preparing for adolescence. So this is for you. I have also four kids. I have four children. My eldest is 20 years old. She's a girl. She's also a psychologist. And I have a 14-year-old emo. Yes, he's an emo. And I have a 12-year-old, also a boy. And uh, my youngest is an 8-year-old girl. So, more or less, uh, uh, the topic that I'm going to share with you are also actual experiences uh, bringing up my four children, okay? But before we start, I'd like to share with you a video clip which was made by my 12-year-old. He loves computer. That's why he explores and makes movie makers. You know how to make movie makers? Very good. So, I'd like you to uh, look at the video clip. His title of his video clip is Hero Time. Okay? Hero Time. <laughs> <laughs> then, 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 then. <laughs> so, are you ready?
made this a project for uh, career development uh, uh, activity in the school. So when they were asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? And he showed this presentation. He said, I want to be a hero. I want to change the world. You can also be a hero. So I know so other people this. From the, the video, the video play, what are the qualities of a hero? What are the hero qualities? Who can tell me what? Yes, sir. Uh, don't come, 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 come. I will not apply. I will not apply. A key chain from Thailand. One of the hero qualities is charisma. Yeah. 
So he's a musician. I like In other words, he's an artist. I like you know? He may not be very intelligent, but he has talent in other areas. Yeah? Uh, this one, the, the one with the... He's the 14-year-old, okay? So, yes, my 14-year-old son likes basketball and he likes outdoor, he likes adventure. So, he projects that he's the kind of person who likes to explore the world, things around him. So, ang inyong interest na determines ang inyong personality. You agree? Okay. So, everything that you do reveals about your personality. The way you sit, the way you, you, you talk, the way you hold your hands, the way you look, in, you, you listen to me, it all reveals something about your personality. Na siling nila lang, look sila sa mga psychologists, kaya kinabasa naman ang, ang personality ng tao. Wala kami kabasa, ah, ka-interpret lang. Okay? So your superpowers can bring a hero. Your superpowers and being a hero can be turned into a reality. Ang superhero na yan, hindi lang na siya yung imagination, pwede mo pala siya masuntuod kung gustohon mo. You have the ability to make things happen. Have you seen the movie na Percy Jackson and the Lightning? Yes! Okay. So, kahuman, you have the ability to make things happen. Kung ano pa lang araw sa ulo nyo, matabukin na siya. Kung lang kayo ninyo kinapaminsar, wala nga, ah, hindi ako sinakabalo, hindi ko sinakabalo. Di, eventually, hindi ka gilman nakabalo. Bambal ka ba nga, hindi mo ko kapasar. Hindi ka nakapasar man eh. Bambal ka, kiga na ko na kayo rinyo, miss. Kiga na ko na ni mama. Kaya mo man na, matabo man na. Because the mind is very powerful. What is in your mind will happen in reality. So if you have dreams, goals, and ambitions in life, you think about it all the time so that that dream will happen someday. Do you have dreams? Yes. What is your dream? To become a what? A professional photographer. Terrific. Very good. Dali yung mga boys ka. What do you want to be? Ano dream to you? You will get lost. Because our dreams, our goals in life, give us direction, give us something to look forward to. Diba? Ang tao nga wala sa mga dreams and wishes, hindi maging successful. You agree? Yes! Okay. Are you still with me? Yes! Okay. No, listen carefully, I will be asking trivia questions later and have more prizes to give away. <laughs> you can be invisible by just being quiet and listening, observing other people. Or you can read minds of people by being sensitive and others. You can fly by going beyond your expectations, using your talents and abilities for the good of all. So, you can make your hero time happen. Now, preparing for adolescence. Okay? So, when you say adolescence, there are three major critical areas that need to be prepared. Dapat prepared ka mo sa tatlo ng aspects. Identity, sexuality, and etiquette. So that will cover our topic for this afternoon, okay? So what is adolescence? It is a stage of transition from childhood 
to adulthood. Hindi ba la? Sa una, mahilig ka mong mas hamtang, hamtang. No? Subong, dahil na inyo nga hilig. Ano na inyo hilig? Ha? Okay. So, what do you, what are you called? You are in between childhood and adulthood. Hindi ka na bata, hindi ka matigulang. So, ano tawag sa inyo? Fourteen and twelve. So every time uh, we go buy shoes and and uh, pants, dilemma. Gina siya yan. Kaya like, let's say my son wants an Adidas, but wala sang makaigosiya. It's either it's too big or too small. Kaya Adidas wala sang thin size. Did you know that? So alang alang. The same way sa mga Levi's na wala sang it's either too big ang size na available or too small man. No? Ang Levi's kani wala small sizes. So, alang alang. No? So, are you also caught in between? Do you also find yourself in a situation na kalang alang bala? No? You are torn in between. Mano ko man? Bata ko or matigulang? No? <laughs> That is responsibility, mom. That is something that he does not like. Magbantay ng iya mo mga manghot kung wala ako. And then mom, ha? Hindi ka mag-sabad. Oo, kung may mga sabad, kaya nga mga manghot, makapoy, right? So, one time also, I was talking to my parents about some sensitive issues. And then, I mean, trauma niya yan. Sana ba matima siya? Siku, go to your room. Study your lesson. Siya nga ako. Matima ko doon yan. Sambo ko. Hindi kaya mag-intra sa istorya, sa mga tigulang. Kaya, ah, abi ko, tigulang na ko. Sambo ko, tigulang na ko. So, una ba lang ang situation? You know, so how does that make you feel? No? Kung kisa, the adults treat you like kids. Kung kisa, adults treat you like adults also. So, how does that... Gabi man. Wait, gabi man. How does that make you feel? Di ba mood like? Okay. So it makes you feel confused, upset, frustrated, and disgusted. Di ba lang ka ilinit? No? Ka ilinit. Ka ilinit ka mo sa kuning antipasyon? Ha? Wala pa? Not yet? Not yet. But you are entering that stage. So, what do you do? Kung nainit ka, kung nainit ka, ah, masigi ka na lang text, 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 text. Huwag mamati ka na lang sige mo, mga iPad. Or, mapasaway ka na lang yan. Ma-bully ka or ma-engage into a fight. Or matulog ka na lang yan, bilog ka at law. Or, you also watch TV all day or play the computer na wala pa kialam. And then last, you will have a world of your own. Sino na siya? Sabihin na siya. Sa? Really good. Dita mo nun? Wala ka mo pa ang kita mo sa ruta. Once you are home to do sa, tura mo nun to sa.
I said, your behavior reveals your personality. Next. So, I do want to change it. Physical changes. Physical changes. Hindi niya madinay. May ala, hindi niya. Whether you like it or not, yah. Pag kinindi ka gusto mo ka pimples, yah mo pimples ka gitya. Pag kinindi ka gusto mo ka pimples, ka gitya yah. So ang girls, okay. Girls between 10 to 14 years old develop sex hormones called estrogen and progesterone. That causes your breast to develop. So you get a long breast, you know. Your hips and thighs widen. Your pubic and underarm hair develop. And the ovaries start to produce eggs, and menstruation starts. Okay. So, what are the hormones that are growing in you? What are the hormones? Estrogen and progesterone. Amo na. Nga nagakubakubain yung adukhan kada makita nyo yung yung crush. Anong cause sila? Anong cause sila? Estrogen. Tumot nila sa estrogen. Okay? Amun na. Na ang iba niya na teens sabi nila in love na sila. Ay in love.
kula students di munuho niya gila. So, ka-reflect niya siya kung sino di mga bullies kag mga teasers siya ang wala sa sa self-confidence. Siya ang waiwaay. Right? Teenage pregnancy. So, na kamu, wala pa galing kamu na lutas, babe, may baby na kamu. Siya mo ni Bila matabo kung hindi kamu kaanchindi. No? Kung hindi kamu prepared for adolescence. Another problem that occurs are rebelliousness. Garibilde kamu sa parents niyo. Ma? No? Most leader are A conflict between parents are very common, no? And then fraternities, yung mga gang, 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 kaya tapang, baga, you don't like to stay at home, kaya permi ka lang minakigan, so you tend to go out with your barkada. You spend most of your time with your friends. So, ang muna matabo, nang masok. May mga fraternities man na good, but there are many fraternities that are not healthy, not good, okay? Or another thing also, another problem that can occur is you are disconnected. You don't like to deal with relationships. You only like computers. The computers, so disconnected with relationships. Hindi na kamu magkabalo mag-relate sa ibang na tao kay computers na lang ang ginatubang nyo. No? Gadgets. Or lastly, another behavioral problem is homosexuality. So, if you are confused with yourself, na, basi ang homosexual ko. Sino niya siya? Kilala niya niya siya? So, do you want this to happen to you? No! Of course not. Ew. Ew. So, first thing that you should do is to build confidence. Confidence, Gali, is you, number one, you believe in yourself that you have the gifts. So, gamay ka mo, kung pahambalun ka mo, nga kantaan, nai sa otan, nai, di ba? Kapakita, agit ka mo nga akong dako na ka mo, pakantaon ka, agit ka mo kagpasauton, hindi na ka mo. Ha? Hindi na cute. Hindi na cute, ako tanawa. Magamba ka mo, hindi na cute, it means you don't have low self-confidence. Kung ang teacher niyo may ginapaubra sa inyo, magamba ka mo, ah, hindi ko na yung kapalong miss. Oh, wala mo pa gani na tistingan. Oh, di ba? Believe that you have talent. Oh. Ano talent mo ta? Ano talent mo? Wala ako siya na yung Ano talent mo?
Okay, then you live your dreams. I told you this earlier. And you use positive statements always. I can do it. I will do it. So these are the ways to develop your self-confidence. You think this is easy? No, why? Negative. <laughs> no, how? No, how? There are things you need to explore, 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 explore. So, sino may kaya sa arts, sa drawing, or sa sa computer, no? Like that, just a kind of person ka, or na may kama design or fashionista ka, di ba? Or na may kama sa artista, no? Kano? Ito ba? No, kina tanan. So at this stage, dapat ka sa kwaon para ma-identify mo ano kili mo nga strength. No? Kung ikaw ka balong magkanta, te, try ka kanta. Kung ikaw balong magsaod, try ka saod. Basta try everything. Okay? Can you do that? Yes. Sa lang nag-yesa? Wala kang mag-yesa. Ano, uh, confident sa inyo nga self. Tama, kamo ka negative eh. Okay. Ato na siya i-heal. Magical ko na siya ha. Machant kita subong para ma-develop inyo nga confident. Okay. All together, please recite this chant. Everybody! I am a special child of God. I am unique. No one else is like me. I can do a lot of things. I have dreams, feelings, and ideas that are important. I will do my best at all times because I am good and I am me. So, in your chat, me, it's very helpful. No, sa tanan ko ang mga counselings with low self-esteem, hindi na pabalik-balik lang ni para lang ma-condition eh, na nga self na you are special. Tanan kita, may gifts halin sa kay God. No? And wala, wala sa pariyo. Nobody is the same as you are. No? Same nga, in the, So it's a matter of knowing what your ideas, dreams are. Again, be, again, be, again. One, two, three, go. I am. quarter na topic for this afternoon. Before I proceed to our second quarter topic, trivia naman ta. Okay, ano to ang dua ka changes sa adolescence yung ina-experience? Ang wala pa cancer, ha? Ano to? Tapos ka na yan. Sige. Ang iba na. Tapos ka na. Sige. Ano ang dua ka changes that is happening within an adolescence? Ah, ikaw. Sige, ito. I'm here. What's your name? Miss Lynn. Miss Lynn. Miss Lynn. Miss Lynn. Miss Lynn. Miss Lynn. Very good. Miss Lynn. 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 Miss Lynn
sexuality. Ang primary sexuality refers to your gender. Gender. Male or female. You're being male or female. And how you express your masculinity or femininity. Si mga laki express nga ay lalaki kuya da ko kuya ma sol. O diba? Or mga lalaki ay like boxing. No? Okay, so how do you express being male? What are the other ways that you express your being male, being female? Huh? Fighting? Fighting? As in physical fighting? Huh? Is it a girl? wala kong i-provoke siya, no? Kung sunungan siya, oh, away ta? Sige, away ta? Sige, away ta? No? Kung ginala, yun na, sakto na. Whereas ang girls naman niya, kung may kaaway, kung may kontra, ano? Okay. 
ako yung mga bata. Di pin o crush mo mga bata. Ay, why ko crush mo? Oh, di na yun normal mo. Wala pa crush na. Compared sa mga girlfriend mo na siya, 
Next, self-control. When you are able to control your feelings, your anger and urge. Number four, compatible. When you share the same values, interests, and convictions, you can be together in good times and bad times. Pangapon nga 14-year-old nga emo kid, damo na na si girlfriend, hamo ko nga, permit ka lang ka-break sa ibang amiga. Sabi kayo ka pala away, tatahaka sa mga babae. Oo nga, wala? Kasabat, kulo. Oo? Galing, ay, agree ka mo. So, compatibility. Kaya kung kita ka-away ka mo because you don't share something in common. Wala ka mo common interest. So, lain mo yung gusto, lain mo yung nag-gusto. Amo na nga ka-away, ang boys, kagang girls. Si dapat niya sa relationship ka complement ka mo kung anong wala sa isa, arat sa isa. Kabagay-bagay. Yes, niyo? Yes! Okay. Number five, trustworthiness. You can be counted on. Kung pag-isin siya, kung may mama niyo ma, parang ito pa may anay sa school kaya may project ato or may practice ka mo. Ito on, give man na. Or may iba niya nga. Gahi mo lang excuse. Galitin siya ang mga sa school pero gadis galito. Ang trustworthiness niyo is very important. Okay? Next is love. When you can be selfish, unselfish, caring for the other, sacrifice and commitment. Inablog, wala mo na ginapanundong in mga self. Pero ginapanundong mo yan how you can take care of the other person. Ang needs mo yan bala is not as important as the needs of the other person. So these are the key signs when you are ready for dating. Tikon mo na, pani sa inyo, hindi, pakit ka mo yung pwede, mag-girlfriend, kag-boyfriend, eh? Yes, niyo? Yes. Okay. Now, last topic, third quarter topic na lang, last na lang ni. Okay, I know you're you're already tired, you're becoming restless, but etiquette, let's just discuss on etiquette. Etiquettes are code of behavior or standards that are socially acceptable. In order to improve confidence, make more friends, sharpen social skills, and successful career. Okay. Ano nabalaan nyo nga etiquette? Ano nga nabalaan nyo nga good manners? Oh, good manners. Be polite. Okay. Ano pa? Ano pa? Ano nabalaan nyo nga etiquette? Ha? Like, example? Examples? Ano sa table? Oh, do not put your elbow. Sige, review na lang ni kay Kapalo na mga mo. Yes, ha? Ha? Be? Being respectful. Okay, very good. Let's just run through this. Kay mga young people now, they don't observe what etiquette na eh, no? Sa disgusting na ginagawa ko kita sa mga behavior kag mga attitude ng teens. Example, slouching. Sino ko nakita ko ang slouching? Slouching! O, maski sa classroom, that is bad manners. Definitely. Bad manners. Yes, no. Para wala na yan sa mga binukik, wala nga taga-bukit, wala sila yan sa silaw, yan siya, yan wala nga may may kuwan sa likod. Okay. Disgusting. Okay? Number two, crackling na po. Hindi na pala ito. Hindi na pala ito. Hindi na pala ito. Don't do it in public. You know? You can do it if you are alone or by yourself, but not in public or not in in front of your teachers, your superior. Do it uh, quietly. Another public fighting. Control? 
your gut. You go out. You go out. to stare at people. No? Example ha, sa mga fast food, love lang ha, McDonald's, Holy Grail. No? I find it very offensive when the, some young people stare at me. So, sa US, they are, when you stare at people, kung balong pa nila, what's your problem? Because that is bad manners. So do not Next, not greeting or standing up in front the presence of elders. Area very common. Others are talking. Bad manners, mana. When somebody is talking, you should listen. Otherwise, if you don't want to listen, you go out of the room. Okay? Does not know how to use the magic words. So, wala na yung mga things. Subong ka, please. Thank you. Yes, please. No, thank you. I'm gonna shut up, but yeah. Okay. Being disrespectful, na okay. Ah, ngatong nga mga tigula mo la na kamano po la na kasing la na pagabutan ni si Pila na derecho na sa kusina maabrida yung sandres ita pagkaon. Kano? Wala na kina-acknowledge ang mga lola at mga lolo. O, di ba? O, kung kisa mga wala na katawag manong, manang, kuya, ate. That is being disrespectful. Now, general etiquette, social graces guidelines. First, personal grooming. Hair. Na, ang hair kung kisa, wala na pang busay, dapat ulang buktaw, no? Number or ang body, kaya kapalo ka mo, when ang hormones you can change, naga body odor ng kamu. Tiko kisa, hindi ka mo katimbot sa inyo ng self, gampang mo yung sili ka mo, so use jodorant na, no? Especially kung balason ang tin, ang isa ka teenager. Kung balang ton, compared to a child, na ba baho, hindi Ang tip na, nari isa pag yung bad breath. Pero bilang bad breath, hindi sila yung conscious na gambal sila itong mga lipong na nila, may stress, no? So check your breath always. Next, posture, project confidence, pleasant disposition. Again, sit up straight, hands on your lap. Mungi na ang dapat na posture. Hindi kayo ang pinalaman na posture. Next, neatly dress, it reveals your character. Sa seminary where I work, kung kiss up, ang ilang ang uniform, yun ang wala plancha, yun ang lang halimbang halayan. Okay, sa seminary, they were taught to do their own, to wash their own clothes and iron their own clothes. 
Hindi ko nagda-record sila sa, sa klase nila. Wala ka, ang chai lang. May uniform, may uktukot, uktukot. Ang pisa kay ko. Pisa at atlo ka, adlaw ko na ilang na polo shirt. Diyos ko, bumaho na yun. Sophie, uh, be conscious of how you look. Na tayo di makablog, magtamog, magdip. Kada adlaw ko sa liko. Gone. Next, effective introduction. When introducing to superiors, always stand and smile and say the name of the elder person first. Like, Tita Kim, friend ko si Jason. Mauna ko niyo kami ang elder person. Okay? Always shake hands. Ang mga teens, subong wala ka shake hands. So even girls, you should learn how to shake your hands. And say hello. Use the name of the person. No? <laughs> say the name of the person. Like in your clothes, sa akin, kagina. No? I am... Um, sa seminary, they call me Miss Mai. Miss Mai. So you can also call me Tita Mai. Hello, Tita Mai. Good morning, Tita Mai. Good afternoon, Tita Mai. Always use the name of the person. And I contact. Ini kita ako gini sa doctor's office. Ang doctor ng historian sa bata. De ano? Ano masyad mo ta? Sakit siya ko. Wala siya ng kagalaw na sa doctor. Why I contact? Hindi din dapat ang sakit ka. Sakit ka sa tuwa tuwa. Wala siya ka pa ng doktor. Bad manner. Okay? Very common ko na ang nakita. Next. Meaningful conversation. You listen. When you listen, you nod your head. Do not yawn. Ari, magiging isa ka disgusting na habit. Eh, kadamo. Subong sa mga people. Ika pang way up. <sighs> well, do not look at your watch or play with your head. That is bad manner. Avoid bad words. No, young people now are all just also very fond of saying, the poop or uh, Uh, talking about the person who is not present with you, that is bad manner. Or disabilities of others. Kung talo, abla siya. Ang iyang, abla isa ko mata. Gapiro. Gamo isang sakya, kya mo ka. That is bad manner. A great self-talk. Uy, sa amun balaya? Takta ko yung amun swimming pool niya. Yung mga Olympic style sa amun swimming pool. Uy, kuta ko yung kuya bala. music and family. Next, last na lang. Good manners to live by. Use the magic word, say please, thank you, I'm sorry, you're welcome. Kung naman nun, may pussy mo, no? Ang mga kumuta yun, thank you. Hindi ko naman. Always say thank you when others compliment you. Thank you. And when other people are like, Never interrupt when someone is talking, except when emergency. I have four kids, so kung kisag ay tululungan at sila hambal sa akin, mam kina mo ang kumre, mam kina mo. Historia pagani ko sa isa hambal ko sa ila. If I don't look straight in your eyes, meaning I do not listen to you. So kina patapos na nila. So it's always bad manners, but I'm not used to it. I'm not used to it. I'm not used to it. Josh. I'm not used to it.
Except for emergency. Except for you, Miss Sulu. Okay, Miss Sulu! Because the time is okay. Respect elders, including older brothers and sisters. Next. Ask permission when you borrow something and return after using. Ang mga nikinawa, yan naman sa mga kapataan. Kung pa yung charger ko, pero mga kadula. Sino ka naman na nagkot ang charger ko? Mula pa yung nikinawa. Pero wala, ganitin siya mo. Wala sila gamba na maangkwaan eh. Kung wala ko pala yung charger. Hindi ko din, hindi na manila. Yung ginabutan, hindi pala nila. Ginauli ko din, nila nakita. No? Keep confidentiality when you know a secret of other person do not broadcast. Uy, kabalo kasi. Si Kwan, ang iyamap lang ang papa. Gangster. Papa. Ang sikrito ka mo din. Secret. Keep things in order. Sa balay may house rule na ko. Na I don't like them. So ang gunting, ang may mga bulutangan, kami sa mga school supplies, so mga gunting, scotch tape, masking tape, hindi dora na yan. Hindi kayo galing ako sa alam na yan. Ay gunting ko sa cut cream, may scotch tape ko sa pure. Hindi na put things in an orderly manner. And then be considerate of others, like the telephone. No, example. Ah, just do get do get do much aja. Wala na ibang na tao sa balay ay lura sa telepono. No. Ah, be considerate na may ibang pang amosar pa sa telepono. Number two, volume of music. Isa pang ni alapon ng imo ng kids. Wow, volume pa. Do magwana kon ng tutuloy sa ka. Choice of TV. Na amo man ni sa balay ka kawai channel. Very good. Tigil mo pa ang oras o six to seven imo station. Seven to eight imo station. Eight to nine imo station. Hindi nga ni bakla na nasa mo na yung TV. Or computer games, no? Not learn to appreciate or give compliments. You did a good job. You look handsome today. So, make it also a habit to praise other people. Uy, nagawa po si Muto. Uy, ang ngayon ka sa iyo. Uy, nasusok ko po. Something like that. na mo pag inikontra ko kung may makita ko sa kanila ko may may bomba sa sa kanila ko na yun masingit sa mga ay sinote hindi mo talaga flash so can you tell us spread dirty clothes dry the floor sick na isa mo pag inikabit sa mga things ka tapos paligo pa pinok na na sa loob ba sa basa ba if you win yung man no And take all manners. Wash your hands before meals. Use your utensils quietly. Quietly. No belching, no elbows. Don't slip your fingers. Na iba niya nga. Tanan, tanan nga. Kapit pa manok. Manok nga. Tanan nga. Tudlo sa kukuko. Kinakaon. Do not put your feet up. Take all manners. Chew with your mouth closed. No noise. Lift food to your mouth. Lift ang food sa atong hindi kay kamuna ng mga o. Kamuna! Yes, yo? Okay, may iba niya na notice ko nga. Okay. Bad manner. Put utensils on the side when you are done. Diba? Spoon and fork, kinabutang sa kinis. When you want to leave the table, say, excuse me. Excuse me. Then, push the chair back. When you're done, ibalik ang siya, no? Then when you do not like the food, do not complain. Eat what is on the table. Do not be obvious, okay? Obvious lang at kaho yun sa pagkawon, na pakita mo pin. Do not get food from another person's plate, and do not cross your hands to reach the other side of the table. Team 
Commandments. Last na lang. Everybody, please read. Thank you and have a good day. 